What's going on guys, it's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. As you can see in my inventory here, we have 8 or 9 service rifles, and we also have uh, about, well, we have a lot of NCR money, and we also have quite a bit of NCR, or uh, some 5.56 cases, as well as lots of NCR dog tags. Um, I was looking online just for something to pretty much replace our sunglasses because these give us no damage resistance and uh, I found something called the Lucky Shades. Um, those are pretty good. I haven't looked at the stats of them. I just figured from the name it increases our luck by one or two. So yeah, I was looking at some ways to try and do that stuff uh, or to get to Lucky Shades, but you need to be sided with the Legion or at least liked by them. And I don't exactly want to spoil myself on <clears throat> those sorts of stories, or, uh, or sorry, on those sorts of stories, on the, on that sort of the like quest line and whatnot. So I, I read somewhere you can do it. You can do a glitch with, um, I think it was someone we killed when we first ran into Cottonwood Cove and then died like two minutes later. Um, but you can kind of like have an explosive skill of 50, which we do not. We have an explosive skill of 22, so I'll try and pump that up to 30 and uh, use a magazine for explosives and do it that way. But uh, we have lots of NCR dog tags because you can also, if you have a speech of 50, which ours is 54, or no, I think it's like a barter of 30 or something. I don't know. You can sell the NCR dog tags for Legion fame and some uh, small amounts of resources. But, basically, I went around the Mojave Outpost and a bit around Helios, Helios 1 and killed lots of uh, NCR troops so I can get their, um, mostly their uh, dog tags, but I also snagged some service rifles just to, I guess, have in the event of, you know, having them, or just for the sake of having them, and we could probably sell them later on, but, you know, um, that's, that, that should be fine. Um, hopefully you guys aren't too upset about me now having 1,500 rounds of ammo for this gun. I had a lot. I had like, I want to say two to 300 beforehand. Who is that? Uh, beforehand? Wait, is that Ringo? Ringo. Oh, no. Prim wimped out no, never mind. That's a good spring settler. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. What are you doing here? You should always, you should be all the way back in, uh, the Crimson Caravan place. But, um, yeah, here we are. We're trying to drop some stuff off. We have 56 weight, which is very surprising, honestly. Um, I decided that sh that because I didn't know uh, much about, like, the Legion stuff and I didn't want to spoil a lot of the story for me because I am doing this game blind, or I'm going through this game blind, right? I figured I'd start the Honest Hearts DLC. And I read somewhere that you need to bring, like, less than 100 or maybe around 75 pounds of... Uh, gear to uh, to start it, but we're already at 56, and I don't have to drop off any of my weapons, mostly because our aid and uh, ammo doesn't weigh anything, so I think that's fine. Um, I don't think you can bring any followers. So, yeah, I think it's the Happy Trails Expedition one. Find the Happy Trails Caravan Master. Is it the Northern Passage? Uh, yeah, let's head to the Freeside North Gate. Well, that's good. That's gonna be inside, right? So we have to, we have to head outside of this boundary, don't we? I'm gonna head. I head to the free side north gate, and then I'll see if I can't go along that highway. Boone will probably try and come with us, but we'll just send him back to, uh, um, to his place. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we're gonna start this. DLC today. That'll be fun. Uh, I can't go that way. I'll just head along this road and kind of wander around the whole place. Who are you? Mercenary and traveling merchant. Hey there. Need anything? Not exactly, but I want to see what you have in case there's anything unique. Or playing cards. I do want playing cards. Uh, you've 12 gauge. I'm not using a 12 gauge just yet. 20 gauge. I, I, I'll leave you alone with that for now. Oh, I was gonna say you only have one playing card, really? Uh, it's by a stealth boy. Why not? We have a bit of caps to spare, so 
we'll go ahead and do that. I know I have stealth boys at home and in the little trailer, but eh, it's whatever. We can spare 145 caps for right now. Let's see. We are... You know what? Why not? Let's just head directly this way in s and see if we can actually get there. I'm hoping we can. <clears throat> So yeah, the recommended level for um, the Honest Hearts DLC, because it doesn't exactly... I heard it doesn't, like, really intertwine itself with the other DLCs. It's kind of like a standalone thing. Um, the You can actually do this fairly low level, and we're level 14 right now, and the recommended is, like, anywhere from 10 to 15. So hopefully this pushes us over the edge. Um, I did level up. I was level 13, but then I went around killing all those NCR soldiers, and I got us up to 14. About 14 and a half, I think. So, yeah, I, I maxed out, I think it was lockpick I went for. Yeah, I maxed out lockpick, and I put the rest of the points into speech. It was just one point, but, um, yeah. And I think I bought the uh, misfortune perk, because I was debating on getting that. And I'd already gotten the, um, confirmed bachelor and lady killer perks beforehand. Okay, you've discovered the Northern Passage, 10 XP. Let's just go on ahead into this. You want to stay hidden, stick the shadows, move slowly, blah, 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 blah. Hi, that is a lot of people. Jed Ma Masterson, Stella, Trailer Caravan Guard, and Ricky. Hi, Ricky. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare, so watch your ass around me. Rude. Oh man, we don't have a high enough medicine. Oh well. I see you're wearing a pit boy and a vault suit. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. Pit boy. So what? Where'd you get the vault suit? It says vault twenty two. Where the fuck you think? Vault two two. That's where I grew up. I heard him. I've heard, I've heard of some strange going-ons at Vault 22. Know any details? I know everything. I know all about it. But I ain't about to tell the likes of you. I have a sworn vow of secrecy, or something like that, to the people I left behind. Perception 6. You're lying. You've never been to Vault 22. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. You caught me. I may have been exaggerating a little. Truth is, I got this suit and the pit boy off a dead prospector who came out from Zion. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. That's how I know there's good loot in Zion, see? We still don't have enough medicine for that. Uh, you do anything around here besides talk too much? Or what do you use your pit boy for? Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Did you know I'm wearing a Pip-Boy too? Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. Okay, okay. Speech 50. I don't think your pit boy works. I'd better go tell Jed. Oh, it would be really cool if we could have done this, but we don't have a high science or anything. Go ahead. Your word against mine, fucko. See what happens. I'm convincing. You're not. He'll believe me. Hey, hey, hey! Why you gotta go and be like that? Fuck! Look, this is a sweet gig for me. Don't go fucking it up. What are you after anyways? I don't know. <laughs> Carry some of my gear and I'll keep my mouth shut. I travel light on purpose, okay? But fine, I'll tell Jet I'm carrying less so you can carry more. What an asshole. Do anything around here? Oh, let Jed know you're ready to leave once you're traveling alone and carrying 100 pounds or less. Oh, wow, okay. Are you doing anything around here besides talk too much? 
You want to know what I do, bud? Anything I fucking want. I'm one of a kind. I've been places, see? And done things. Uh -huh. Lots of them. And when it's time to... Oop. Something or someone make the mistake of... Okay, yeah, I'm... In fact... Yeah, it... Deadeye, Ricky, how'd you get your nickname? Uh, how you think? I'm just gonna... Why, uh, once I got... But I didn't panic. <sighs> we don't have a high enough story. Or survival. Yeah, it's quite a story. Okay. Or there was the time one of them steel brotherhood... Yes, kill the brotherhood of steel paladin. What's it sound? I'm just gonna run through this real quick. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter machine gun. That's... Gun... Oh, yeah, wait, finally, we have a guns 45. Too bad there's no such thing as an 11 millimeter submachine gun. There so is. Or was it a 9 millimeter? Or a 10? I don't know. Don't... Said I was good at killing shit up. Never said I was good with numbers. Okay, you have any other special skills or abilities? Well, I grew up near Dayglow out... Uh, okay. Well, we still don't have high enough medicine, so it's whatever. Uh, hi, Stella. Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. Uh, what you doing here? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. What was it like growing up in New Reno? I'm just get through these dialogue options real quick. Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give her okay, towns run by crime, a bunch of crime families. Family. The scuzz factors off the charts. So I got my ass out of there while I Kelly and the place lived up to it. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, spent more uh -huh. years. In, if it wasn't the 80s or the white legs raiding, got tired of. Okay. What's the? Uh huh. But yeah, do tell more. White legs. Oh, whoa! So cool. Wow! So interesting. Hi. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah. You oh! The type. Wait a minute, I recognize I you. forgot there was a... Yeah. I forgot there was a broadcast. You're rising star, ain't you? Maybe. You sure you want to be here? McLafferty's non-competes are pretty rigid. Tell me more about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design, plus another bonus if we reach New Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Who's Joshua Graham? Why shouldn't I talk about him? Just don't. It makes the New Canaanites powerful uncomfortable, and it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. Well, can you tell me about the area of Zion? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Mm -hmm. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But all the old ways in and out would... That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Yeah. Oh, I haven't been through Utah recently. What's the situation like? Well, it ain't good. I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Mm -hmm. Not too many decent places. Degenerate tribes. I'm just going to skip through these options because I don't want to be talking whole episode. That's right. Uh -huh. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, most the ones you really got to watch out so for. So the white legs. Warlords, how dangerous. dangerous. Enough, we Tell me about the raiders. They're about what you'd expect. The worst of the eight. Had some other questions. Tell me about the Happy Trails Caravan Company. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but... Ah, oh, man. Why can't you get to Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion. Uh-huh. Um, Sorry, just gonna skip through all these. Hey, Don't know what happened to their mission? Nope. 
Hence this caravan. I ain't a praying man myself, but... We do all right. Don't you worry about us. Got enough in the kitty to pay you anyways. All right. We're both set. Let's go. I bet you are. But we only got room for one more on this expedition. You'll have to leave your friend behind. Oh, what if we told uh, Ricky to leave? It's all for now, but I'll be back. Yeah, reckon you will. All right, actually, let's turn on the radio real quick because I want to hear what it is. Uh, Happy Trails Expedition Broadcast. Go to Settings, Audio. Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers, if you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you've got a pit boy, we definitely want you. On the other hand, if you're a greenhorn or a city slicker spinning tales about your skills, you can kindly go hang. If we like your gumption, we'll pay you square and treat you fair. Find me, Jed Masterson, at the Northern Passage if you're interested. Luck to you. Howdy. My name is Jed Master. All right, the thing's just going to keep repeating. All right. <clears throat> cool. All right. Are you here to jar at me a while? Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. You sh Both set. Yeah, we have to tell uh, we have to tell Boone to leave. All right, Boone, take a hike. Back up. Talk to you. What is it? I think we should part ways for now. If that's what you think. Yes, that's what I think. You should head back home. Alright. Guess I'll be around Novak for a while longer until I figure out what I want to do with myself. See you around. Lost Boone's spotter perk. Alright, that's fine. I'm good. Are you here to join? Yes, let's go, I'm ready. Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Yep. Why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Ready to go to Zion. You sure about that this time? We ain't coming back for a while. Yep, got everything I need. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. 175 bottle caps added. I thought we were getting 25 caps. That's odd. Fallout New Vegas. Oh, there's no music. Honest hearts. Oh, no, there, there is music. I just hope it's not connected the to the radio. We're following are slow going. So you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. Okay. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, 
and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. 20G, when we remembered Zion. Arrived at Zion. Also, I got this one, the Curios and Relics achievement, because I kept using the Rat Slayer to kill everyone. <laughs> All right, we... people. Been I can't move. A couple of weeks, but here we are, Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired, but I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time, and the fifteenth too. The new Canaanites will know a way, and if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's Pip-Boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Get moving, and keep an eye out for tribals. Alright, so don't mention, um, the Burning Man or Joshua Graham. Got it. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? Hi, Ricky. Fuck off, I'm busy. Alright. Hey, Stella. Leave me be. Busy. Okay. Shh. Hold on now. Could swear. God damn it! Ambush! Cover people! Watch yourselves! I don't deserve this! My pit boy don't even work! Whoa! The white legs is so where are they? Oh, they're up there. That dude's totally dead, right? Yeah. Come on. They're not wearing pants. Pain maker. Oh, come on now. There we go. Is that. Did everyone just die? Ooh. I got a grenade launcher. Is that better than our grenade rifle? I'll take the left. I'll take all that. That's mine now. Did everyone. <laughs> did everyone just die? Stella's gone. Recharge your pistol. I think that might have been every single person. Maybe including or excluding Jed. Got duffel bags over here with lots of supplies. <laughs> what? Did everyone just freaking die? Oh, yeah, Jed's totally dead. Was it supposed to happen? Dark Datura. Tomahawks. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, okay. Um... Is the hatchet 26 better than my, um, broad machete? Damage 9, DPS 47. Damage 9, DPS 47. Damage 9, yeah, no, so mine's better. Wow, everyone just died. Yeah, everyone, <laughs> everyone's dead. That's, uh...
Wow. Oh, 45 auto. Weapon binding ritual? What? Dude. <laughs> okay, we're getting shot at again. Of course, I shoot right between them, though, right? Okay. Uh, we get this. So, I want to max out speech at some point. But I know we need... We need an explosives of 30. We also need a barter... Um, I'd be fine without putting, uh, hmm, I don't know, because I don't really use barter, right, I just want to use barter at some point, so that way I can get the, uh, you know, let's not worry about, worry about barter just yet, but I do want explosives of 30 at some point, uh, we'll, we'll worry about barter and explosives later, we'll try and get speech maxed out we'll put it at 65 how about that how about that and then we will put the rest into i guess science hmm that won't help us so let's just go put it all into speech i guess or survival um increases the hit points you receive from food and drink yeah, I mean, I guess that's fine. Um, yeah, why not? Wow, okay, that was... <laughs> yeah, that was not what I was expecting. That's Happy Trails Caravan done, I suppose. Wow. I feel like this bridge is gonna break. <clears throat> Who are we getting shot at by? Follows chalk? Quest fail- Wait, rite of passage? Did we already fail a quest? Rite of passage? How do we already fail something? Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? It's not a problem. Alright, so we got an ambush. Okay, I can't even... I can't even, like... I see him up there. There he is. We got that one. I don't deserve this. My pit boy don't even work. Why the fuck you hire me? Okay, so he's got another one up there. Stay low, people! Stay low! That one's dead. Stop shooting at that one. I can see your head right there. Hey, mysterious stranger! Oh, you're gonna miss two? Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I guess everyone has to die. There we go. Yeah, so everyone has to die. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and save right here. Um, we'll save over Camp McCarran. Why not? So now, in case we do end up somehow failing this quest, the rite of passage, or whatever, we have an auto save pretty much right here. Yeah. Oh, there's stuff over here. Hey, stop shooting at me. What is this? Can I push you? No? I guess not. Is there nothing over here of worth? Nope. <laughs> well, that was fun. Rite of passage. Why are we... Why did we fail that quest? I know that person's shooting at us. I can see him up there. 
Hoy, white legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. Uh, who's, who's Joshua? Joshua Graham? Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. Guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. All right, let's go. Good sists. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. Map marker added. Follows chalk is giving you the well-stacked Cairns perk. White follows chalk is in your party. Reaching any summit in Zion, such as ranger stations, will reveal all nearby map markers, all nearby map markers, and inspire a heightened state of awareness, plus three perception for three minutes. Why was he shooting at me on the bridge? That doesn't make much sense. Okay, these drawings over here can't activate them. Okay. Can I? What do you have in your inventory? Well then, let's get to trading. 45 auto. What can I tell you? Tell me a little bit about this area. Any interesting wildlife? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Uh, maybe I can help with that. Sounds like a quest. Yeah? Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. Okay. What would you suggest I do instead, then? Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These bighorners go crazy for the stuff. All right, I'll look into it. That's great. I'll help any way I can. Well, good thing we found that banana yucca. What can I tell you? Uh, who are those tribals who attack me? White legs. Nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. Wait, what? New Canaan was wiped out? How? That's what Joshua said. White legs came down from Great Salt Lake in force. Fell on New Canaan before they could mount a defense. Joshua found some of the survivors led by a man named Daniel. Most of them have fled the valley. But Daniel stayed on with the Sorrows tribe. He and Joshua have been arguing over whether to stand and fight the White Legs, or take the Sorrows and the Dead Horses out of the valley. Where do they come from? That's the weird part. Normally the White Legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. I don't know what brought them down this far south. I want to know more about you. What can I tell you? I don't know. Why are you called Follow Us Chalk? Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. What are all those tattoos? Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter takes a great beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. Tell me about your tribe. We came up in the land of the dead horse. Though, why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. We raided. We fought. We lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. Wait, what about Kaisar? When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then he lost his master's army to a tribe called Ensiar. The Sunset People. When he returned, he was as you saw him. Burned. Broken. But changed. He led us away from Kaisar. Led us to our own destiny in Zion. 
Well, so much for this episode not being about dialogue. Wow. What did Joshua do for you? If it wasn't for Joshua, the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He taught us how to hold our territory. To pro Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm going to have uh, questions about. Uh, because that's a lot of stuff, a lot of dialogue. I'm going to say nothing else, talk to you later, and that is going to have to do it for today's episode. I'm so, so very confused as to... Hold up. See that log over there? Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. No. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.